This is a single system. And this is a collection of computers that work together to form a single computer for end users. A distributed system. Computers that are in a distributed system can be physically close together and connected by a local network or they can be geographically distanced and connected by a wide area network. The goal of distributed computing is to make such a network as a single computer. But how do all kinds of computers everywhere can act like one computer? In one word, communication. Microservices architecture style is one popular way to implement distributed systems wherein the application is decomposed into multiple microservices, each service responsible for one function. For the end user, it's just one system. But due to the distributed nature of microservices, they function in an unpredictable environment where a lot of things can go wrong and then there are countless databases to choose from. MySQL, Mongo, Oracle, Cassandra and so many others. An understanding of the CAP theorem makes it simpler to categorize the options and choose the right tool to use in different scenarios. But the concept of CAP is not just for backend engineers. So let's say we are building a UI to-do list in JavaScript application and it is talking to an API server across the network. As long as the network is up, our UI is responsive and up to date. Now what if your user loses network connection? You have two options. You can either tell them there is no internet connection and to try again later. Or you can let them continue what they are doing, tell them the network is down and that the changes will be saved later. The network failure user experienced is partition. And if you want to tolerate this situation, you have two choices. First is to not allow any actions from the user since they don't have the 100% accurate view of the system. You make them wait until the network is up. This is consistency. You can however choose to keep the UI responsive and let users do what they are doing. Especially in this case when it's a simple to-do list and having an inconsistent data doesn't really harm anyone. You promise them to eventually make it up to date once the network is up and that is availability. Building distributed systems like this provide many advantages but also adds complexity. Network outages both temporary and permanent are a fact of life and occur whether you want them to not. Understanding the trade-offs available to you in the face of network errors and choosing the right path is vital to the success of your application. The decision between consistency and availability is a software trade-off. You can choose what to do in the face of a network partition. The choice between consistency and availability comes when you have to pick up a database type for your distributed system. Most modern databases are classified between SQL and NoSQL data structures. NoSQL databases are a most common choice in designing distributed systems because they are horizontally scalable, unlike the regular SQL databases which are generally vertically scalable. Network partitioning is given in any distributed system, but CA databases assume there is no partitioning and which is why they don't really come under the category of distributed systems. They are mostly standalone single system. Common examples of CA databases are Oracle, MySQL and Postgres. Given that networks aren't completely reliable, you must tolerate partitions in a distributed system. According to CAP theorem, this means we are left with just two options, consistency and availability. In a CP model, you wait for a response from the partition node which could result in a timeout error. You choose consistency over availability when your business requirements dictate atomic reads and writes. For example, a high transactional payment system in an e-commerce website which has a lot of interconnected dependencies behind the scenes and you don't want your customers to be charged twice for a single payment they posted. Or maybe an airline booking system where you don't want your customers to overbook each other's ticket. AP model is basically eventual consistency. You return the most recent version of the data you have, which could be stale. The system will also accept writes that can be processed later when the partition is resolved. You choose availability over consistency when your business requirements allow for some flexibility around when the data in the system synchronizes. Availability is definitely a compelling option when the system needs to continue to function in spite of any external errors. For example, shopping carts. Any marketplace, be it Amazon or Walmart, they don't want any of their customers to experience any kind of friction while shopping. Even if the data in the shopping cart is stale, it will be eventually consistent. 